Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have three of the four litters that we had during March. They're here, they're all healthy, they're doing really, really well, and um, I thought I would do a little video for you guys, introduce you to the three litters that we have. We have Amelia's litter, Juliet's litter, and Aria's litter. So this was the first litter born. They were born on February 23rd, so they're now two weeks old. We actually recorded the birth of these six puppies being born. That was Amelia. So guys, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. These guys are two weeks old now. Their eyes are starting to open. And they're just so adorable. They've all doubled in size. They're all doing really, really well. All gained some weight. From this litter, we got two blue roan males, two liver roan males a black and white female, and a liver bone female. And the girl's a little bit smaller than the boys, as usual, but that's just normal. Boys are always bigger than the girls, usually. So Juliet also had her puppies early. She was due on March 2nd, and she actually had them on February 28th. I had actually checked her earlier in the day, and she wasn't really showing a huge amount of signs, but there was something, I just had a feeling with her that she was actually whelping. And later on that night, I uh, checked her again before we went to bed and she was showing signs of whelping. So we got her all set up and ready for her puppies. Juliet did really, really well. She is the kind of mom that likes me there. She did not want me to leave her side. She doesn't want to do this on her own. She wanted me by her side the entire time. So I spent the entire night with her and her first puppy was born around about 7.30, just like Amelia's. A very identical birthing process with Juliet, except hers came a little bit more closer together and she had them pretty well um, within every hour or so. So she did really, really well. I was really impressed with her. I really like the different uh, variety of coloring that we got in this litter. We did get a lot of females, which is interesting. Some litters we get majority male. I would say most of our litters are majority male. And then you get the odd one or two litters that have more females. Or you get more of a steady ratio. But this litter we got uh, two males and five females, which was really interesting. And each one is different. Each puppy is different. There are no two puppies the exact same color markings or anything. It's nice having so many different varieties of colors and markings with the tri-color, the tri and the two-color one and two colors. Very nice varied litter. So Aria was due her litter on March 6th and she also went early. She ended up having hers on the day that Juliet was actually originally due her puppies which was March 2nd. So it was interesting. We had Amelia's and she had six and she went early. Then we had Juliet a few days early. She had seven and then we had Aria who had her puppies a little bit early, a couple of days after Juliet, and she had eight. And all these guys were black. It would appear that Angus has a, an extremely strong black gene when it comes to his sired litters. We uh, seem to get a huge amount of black. But they do turn out to be absolutely gorgeous dogs, so that's definitely a plus for the lack of variety in coloring. So these guys, we got quite a variation in markings, but um, very similar coloring. All of them were black. We got some blue trirones and we got a couple of black tries. Two females and the rest were males. But they're all gorgeous, they're all doing very well. And it's nice that we actually were able to place all of them. So each, each family has chosen puppies from these three litters. They all have families lined up for them and uh, I'm sure they're going to enjoy this process. Another thing with these three litters that's really kind of cool is actually that they're all cousins. So we've got Amelia and Juliet who are sisters and then Aria I paired with Angus is Amelia and Juliet's brother. So all of these puppies that we have just now are all cousins which I think is really neat too.
So I was able to go through my reservation book. We have a lot of puppies sold well in advance right now. We go through our list and the order the deposits are received and then we contact each person and let them know when we have puppies available. They can either pick from the available puppies that we have or they can wait until the next litter. So all of these puppies have been placed now. So if you want to know more information about our puppies, feel free to contact us. We'll put our email address in the description if you're interested. We have shipped a lot of puppies across Canada. We have a lot in the United States as well. With the border being closed right now, it does make things a little bit tricky, but we have been able to get a couple of puppies across there during COVID times too. And of course, a lot in Ontario as well. So if you're interested, send us an email and we can give you more information if you want to know more about our puppies. So they're all starting to get really hungry. I'm gonna go put them back in with their moms. But I thought you guys would like to see them, just introduce you to them, and hopefully you guys will enjoy watching them grow. We're gonna do more videos of them as they grow and uh, let you guys see how they're doing. So thanks again for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll see plenty more videos like this and on your bell. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.